Good day, learners. Welcome to our new lesson. In our previous lesson, we talked about codominance where both alleles are expressed equally in the phenotype of the heterozygote. For today's video, we are going to talk about another non-Mendelian patterns of inheritance, which is the multiple alleles. Now, if there are only two alleles involved in determining the phenotype of a certain trait, but there are three possible phenotypes, then the inheritance of that trait illustrates either incomplete dominance or codominance. But if there are four or more possible phenotypes for a particular trait, then more than two alleles for that trait must exist in the population. And we call this multiple alleles. An excellent example of multiple alleles is human blood type. Blood type exists as four possible phenotypes, and those are A, B, AB, and O. Now, there are three alleles for the gene that determines the blood type. The alleles A and B are dominant over O. A person who is homozygous recessive O has a type O blood. Homozygous dominant A or heterozygous dominant A have blood type A. And homozygous dominant B or heterozygous dominant B have type B blood. AB people have type AB blood because A and B alleles are codominant. Type A and type B parents can also have a child with type O blood if they are both heterozygous. Now, here are the things that you need to remember in the four possible phenotypes for blood type. For blood type A, they have anti-B and they have antigen A. For blood type B, they have anti-A and have B antigen. For AB, they do not have antibodies and they have AB antigens. For blood type O, they have anti-A and anti-B and they do not have antigens in their red blood cell. Now, here are the summary of phenotypes and genotypes of the blood typing in humans. Blood type A can receive blood from blood type O and A, and they can donate blood to blood type AB and A. They can receive blood from blood type O or B, and they can donate blood to blood type AB and B. For blood type AB, they can receive from all different blood types, but they can only donate to blood type AB. For blood type O, they can only receive from blood type O, but they can donate from different types of blood type. Now, as you can see, the blood type AB is called universal recipient because people with blood type AB lack antibodies to both a and B antigens. They don't have the antibodies that would cause a transfusion reaction with the type AB, AB, or O blood. On the other hand, blood type O is considered as universal donor because blood type O don't have A or B antigens on their red blood cells. So they will not attack by the antibodies of someone receiving a transfusion. Now, let us have a sample problem on multiple alleles, and we're going to solve it using Punnett square. Punnett square is a graphical representation of the possible genotypes of an offspring arising from a particular cross or breathing event. Now, let us have a sample problem. A woman with a type O blood and a man who is type AB are expecting a child. What are the possible blood types of their kids? So, we're going to do the Punnett square. As a result, the genotype is 2 heterozygous blood type A and 2 heterozygous blood type B. And the genotypic ratio is 2 is to 2. For the phenotype, they can have 2 blood type A and 2 blood type B. Now, let us have sample problem 2. What are the possible blood types of a child whose parents are both heterozygous for blood type now, let us do the Punnett square. For the genotype, 1 homozygous B, 2 heterozygous B, and 1 homozygous O. The genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1. And the phenotype, 3 blood type B and 1 blood type O. Now, let us have another example. 
What are the chances of a woman with a blood type AB and a man with type A having a child with type O? As you can see, it didn't mention that blood type A is a homozygous A or heterozygous A. With that, we're gonna try both homozygous and heterozygous. First, we're gonna try homozygous blood type A combined with blood type AB. Then, we're gonna try heterozygous blood type A combined with heterozygous blood type AB. So, as you can see on the Punnett square, the answer is 0% of having a blood type O child. So that's it. See you in our next lesson. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you will be notified for more videos like this.